times come, come on, on. it's up to you <laughs> there's a party going on right here hi guys hello hello, hello, hello. <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> Well, it looks like we have Becky and Raul. Becky, you're new. Welcome. We will have some more coming in, I know, but I, we're a little bit early. I couldn't wait to start this party. Yes, we have Lisa. Lisa's helping read chat today, and we're going to do something fun. Hi, Trish. That must mean Evie. Hi, here. Trish. Hello, Evie. Hey, Diane. Good day to you. Rhonda. Hello, Rhonda. Oh, you know your last name in Indonesian means Sundays. M Mingus or, or uh, uh, Shields? <laughs> hey, Rhonda. <laughs> I have prizes. Okay, so I've got to tell. Oh, hey, Sarah. Oh, I'm looking forward to Hello, having this fun party. Hey, Julie. Hey, Miriam. Come on in. We're excited. Wow. We're going to have fun. You missed me singing. All you late, late comers. <laughs> we actually started <laughs> early. You're not really late. <laughs> so I've got to tell you guys about something. We had a house fire this morning. There might be a moment in this stream where I feel like I have to go down and make sure something's not smoldering still. We really did have a house fire. <laughs> Hi, Belinda. Hi, Miriam. Uh, one of the, you know, Bill builds flying machines, uh, drones, planes, uh, all of that stuff. He had a lithium battery explode this morning, very early, very, very early. And uh, I got to it first. I was trying to throw it out the door. It spread to the desk. It spread to the hutch. Um, the house was full of smoke. The alarms went off twice because it. the second time it we thought it was out and we were like hauling stuff outside and we were outside because there was so much lithium smoke and it was so bad um, in the house that uh, we went outside to like let it kind of air out. We had some fans going and I went back in and the flames were even bigger. So, I mean, it was terrifying. It really was. And I'm still shaken. I was totally going to, I had some other plans for the beginning of this stream. And I wanted to have like confetti and a balloon. And, but, you know, that I just didn't have time. I'm still cleaning up um, fire extinguisher dust because it blows powder. And it went everywhere. I mean, everywhere. It was terrifying. So, I'm still here to party. I didn't end up canceling. It was this close to a reschedule, but I am sitting on top. Uh, I'm on, on the top floor. I would be trapped upstairs if it did go back up. <laughs> and I want to make sure that doesn't happen. So if I have a, a moment where Lisa has to tap dance or tell you a joke or whatever, and I have to run away and um, just make sure that, that nothing's hot, that'd be why. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's quite a party. That's quite a party, Lisa. That's right. Hi, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Well, Hi. our naughty chair is going to be filled up, so come on in. We're going to party. Hi, Diane. And? Hi, Ann. Hi, Ann. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, it was pretty terrifying. Pretty terrifying. My hubby is an auto sparky and he is, oh, it's going so fast. I can't read it. <laughs> I can't read it. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got to scroll up for that. Uh, he even says lithium batteries. He refused to put them in. Well, uh, I made Bill make a charging station out under on the back patio under the awning. Um, in a, on a metal shelf. So that's where his new charging station is. He's always been very careful with them. He even builds them. I mean, he knows, he knows all the safety in that. So, Hey, Martha. Hey, Margolo. I'm so excited you're here. 
Oh, we're just going to have so much fun. Okay. First of all, I have this here for a reason. This is my, my party uh, decor right now, but um, these might be a part of the, I'm going to do a little tutorial here and in between giving away prizes, I have uh, something fun planned and I, I, I have my Buddha with me because I need this today. Um, you know, fire and all. I, I need him to calm my nerves. So we're going to put him right there. This I made in art school and it's actually hollow and it is my hand. Um, and one day I'm going to wire this so it sticks out of the wall and have a uh, a light bulb right here, but it's been repainted twice. I just keep redoing it. Um, but let me move, move my crap. Okay. You guys want to see my haul from the beach? I found shark teeth. Oh yes, of course. I found shark teeth. I was so, this is like a needle in a haystack right here. Do you realize finding shark teeth is like, oh, that's a, I, I'm just blown away. And so we went and bought a lottery ticket that I need to check. <laughs> I never play the lottery, um, but I found all kinds of good stuff and I found a heart and I found a moon to go with this month's uh, fly me to the moon. I found the most perfect wish stone on the planet right there. See it? That, that quartz that goes all the way around in that perfect circle. It's so pretty. And I have this thing about white rocks. I don't know what it is. Does everybody else do that? White rocks? Uh, I like not necessarily white rocks, but I like rocks that have been, um, it's pretty much smoothed by the wear and tear. Oh of yeah. The water the, right. going over. I, I, I just, I always like that. I mean, these are the still so good in the backyard, but you know, I, I love smooth stones. Um, these are the kind you could put in your pocket and they'd be good worry stones because they're so smooth. Um, they're just really nice really, really nice. Um, and I was thinking these look like they want to be painted into little nesting Russian nesting dolls, don't they? That would be very cute. That would be yeah. like, and then put in an assemblage. I don't know. Um, there were, I found something else too. I can't remember that I didn't bring up because uh, Miriam, you were asking about, you know, my haul from the beach. <laughs> So I'm going to put my tray of stones over here and Mermaid money. <laughs> I want to show you, you see this guys, this, this is what we're going to talk about with the prizes. I have a whole pack of things that I've made. Oh, we better take those out of there. Things I've made, including this book that I tied one of those rings on and this, and what I'm going to do I have several prizes. There's um, lots of die cuts. I have papers. I have some sorry fabric. Um, I have lots of uh, bubble tags, inky tags. Um, there's playing cards, giant ones, um, some fun papers. That doesn't go in there. Uh, bubble stationery that I made with the envelope. I've got some palette papers. There's a whole bunch of those there. Uh, I've got a shirt here with that you guys saw me make. Um, and some more bubble pages. I have some cool bags to put everything in and we're going to be giving away. Oh, I have another one of those rings too. I have some fibers, buttons and snaps. There's a roll of lace. There's some trim. Uh, let's see. Oh, here. And of course we're going to have, so what I'm going to do, what my plan is, is to do some custom packages for prizes. And that means um, because I know your style or because I can look and see your style on Facebook, uh, the prizes will be customized to you. I have lots of cool things here. Cards, there's rook cards with crows on them and cool images on the back. There's some surfboards and pineapples. I do well, have I like the pineapples. Aren't the pineapples cool? Yeah, just, they're very cool. Uh, I have some fun textured pieces here that you've seen me make. Basically, it's stuff that I have made over the last year and you have watched. So, you know, there's some of those weird plastic things that I couldn't figure out what they are. They're not quite real regular plastic. And then one that I turned into a moon. So uh, what I'm going to do is several prizes and they will be custom. Custom, custom. I even have some upholstery fabric. There'll be more. There's that sorry fabric. I have some linen. 
just fun stuff. Raul likes your uh, art pieces. Oh, thank you. Thank Raul, you so um, I, I know I usually see you on other channels. Um, have you seen her assemblage pieces that she puts together? They're amazing. Oh, thank you. Bubble tags. Um, there's just a whole bunch of stuff here that we'll be choosing from to make sure that, that it's stuff that you'll use, stuff that you like, stuff that's your style. So I'm going to be giving away a prize for all of our newcomers. There will be a drawing. Uh, and then there will be a contest, you guys. Are you ready for this? We're going to have a contest. The contest will be, besides the other prizes I give away today, I am teaming up with uh, my favorite Etsy shop. And we yes. are going to create a, a digital collection together. And uh, there will be some prizes in that for our international friends as well. Um, but I, some of it's super secret. She lives perfect. in the UK. She's in the South of France right now. We're going to work together, put together the perfect collection of things and uh, have a digital kit available in her shop. And that is Cheryl Lawless from the Torn Page. And if you haven't checked out her shop, it's amazing and it's so cheap. And she just, she does a lot of work to put those things together. Um, and it's nice to have somebody kind of uh, um, gather those copyright free images uh, for you. So you don't have to, it's just, it is a nice thing. Uh Oh, Raul said, yes, I saw some videos, but I can't yes, comment he did. always. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, we have two Dianes. Yes, we do. Two we Dianes do. today. Oh, Martha, that's exciting that I inspired you to get back into assemblage. Okay, so the deadline for that, and I will talk about this again uh, in a little while, uh, will be August 15th. And so if you start thinking about a textured junkies inspired project that came from a video that I did at any time during my channel's creation. Um, and I'll give you a few more details in a while. Okay. And then I'm also going to post that information online. I know I'm a little rattled from a house fire today, so maybe my brain's not working, but Okay, so let's get on to our project. I think I think that was a lot of celebrating. Let's do that. You guys, I ordered bubbles. You know, I've been doing the I bubbles. ordered bubbles. I did. I ordered a six pack and I poured four of the bottles into my hand soap containers. <laughs> we'll be washing our hands with bubbles so that I could put the mixtures that I made into these. I wish the this was in the lid, but so my inky bubbles are here on my desk. <laughs> now, do you know what you put in each one of those? Well, I'm going to make a label for the top. I just did it, so I haven't had a chance yet, but I do have these four on my desk. So <laughs> I have purple, black, brown, and uh, or walnut, it is, and uh, blue. So isn't that fun? Okay. I did. I've, I've mixed up black teal and green those are the oh, colors that's so I've used cool. so far um i did find if you watch the second video there's actually a lot of ins and outs to it to get it to do what you want and to have control over those bubbles so it was just it was so much fun i really enjoyed doing that and um i believe that uh just when something's missing, I'm now going to say it just needs bubbles, you know, like <laughs> just when I can't figure something out. <laughs> oh, Paul wants to do a giveaway to celebrating 32,000 here and 50,000 on TikTok. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing, you, Raul. You let us know. We'll, we'll be there. Yes, we will. Okay. So what I want you to do, this is the tutorial today. If you feel like doing this project, I want you to gather your ugliest things. I want you to gather 
roll offs, pickups, you know, like the papers you used in between to pull with on your gel plate, uh, mistakes, um, all of those papers that you're like, meh, it's or it needs more or that didn't work out or whatever, because we're going to make something with them that's so fun. And you don't know this yet, but you're getting a sneaky peek to my hop project. And the hop is next weekend. Um, and that is the PM Artist Studio hop. Uh, and this isn't my actual project. I'm just sharing with you some of the process that I used in my project that I'm still working on. I'm a little behind. <laughs> just a little behind. Okay. Um, Sharon. Yes. What was the... Um Remind me and re let's refresh about the bubbles, um, the difference in too little using not enough of the bubbles or whatever um, you're using to get your okay. bubbles or using too much. Um, if you can go back and talk about that. Okay. Uh, well, for, for one, it depends on your soap. You know, like if you're using a uh, concentrated soap, you probably need less bubbles. Um, if you're, let's say you're just going to use coffee. Okay. Um, you're probably going to want like a 50, 50 mixture of coffee and, and bubble water. You know, if you're going to do coffee, um, if you're going to do something that's like a dry pigment, um, make your bubbles up about a 50, 50 ratio, unless it's concentrated, then do less bubble. Um, Less is more here because you can try it and then you can add more bubbles if you need to, but you can't take them away. You just got to, you can add more water, but you'll end up with like, it'll be like the soup pot that keeps growing. <laughs> right. That's what happens so, at my house. <laughs> your paper also makes a difference. It needs to be, you can get it on paper that's less absorbent. It's just going to look a little different. Um, you can get it on paper that's super absorbent, but it might bleed together. So somewhere in a medium range, absorbency is good for your paper. You want it to sit there long enough to grab the bubble, but not absorb completely and just bleed together, right? And if it's, it'll puddle or pool if it's on a non-absorbent paper. However... It did work really well on this, but this must have a little absorbency. I can't, I, I have no explanation for why it worked on this. Just try it worked very papers. well on wallpaper. I, I used the back yeah. side of the wallpaper and I had some dial soap. Oh that yeah. It's gotten pushed to the back of the cabinet and it was rather thick. So I tried using that without putting a lot of water in it. And what I ended up with was oil, oil slicks. A few little oil slicks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was a little bit too oily and it didn't want to absorb in. Uh -huh. But then when I thinned it just slightly, it, it, it turned worked. out really pretty. And it gave um, a good variety because um, the thicker parts, you know, had more defined rings around them. Uh -huh. And then once I thinned it, it still had the rings, but they were much softer and smaller. Yes. Well, and with different papers, it some showed up more, some, some weren't as strong, you know, I mean, I have their back behind me in a basket, but I, you know, this is one that's in the giveaway um, box. Just try different papers, go to your scrap bin. I'm sure your scrap bin has some different textures and different absorbency papers in it. Give it a try and see what works. I think, um, you know, that is the best way to go about doing it because our soap is going to be different. Our mediums are going to be different and our papers are going to be different. So you just kind of think about when you made bubbles as a kid or go buy yourself some bubbles from the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General. And I got a six pack from Walmart for three bucks. So, I mean, um, then you can actually use the bubbles that are in there. I just happen to have mine already mixed up. But use those bubbles, add some food coloring, add some ink or, you know, whatever medium you're going to want to use. So, yeah, yeah you just got to you just got to work with it. Less is more at first until you figure out what works for you. Hi, Sonia. Hey, Sonia. So glad to have you here. Oh, hey, Mariah. Yes, Mariah has slipped in. <laughs> 
Okay, so I want you to get your, not that one. I want you to go get your ugly papers. Get all those ugly ones. Get your roll-offs. This is from my spray box. That is also from my spray box. Uh, some file folders. Some thicker ones would be nice, you know. Some, I've got some different kinds of papers here. Some that were just like in the middle or, uh, you know, when you're, when you're starting to pick up stuff on your gel plate. Um, I have alcohol ink papers. It's a lot of card stock. There's uh, some thinner, regular copy paper. Um, Hi, Colleen. But this is from the ugly bin or the bin that, you know, there's paper bag that needs more. Hey, Colleen. Um, so grab those for this project. This is a great way to go through a ton of papers. So I'm going to show you what we're doing. So first of all, you're going to want to make a template. So with the template, let's work with these because they're just here on my desk. I created, you want to create a shape that's going to work for you. Where did that go? I have one. Okay, this is what I get. Is it under here? Just that guy, sorry. Where's my template go? Okay, so you're going to want to get some cardboard. I don't know what happened to it. I dropped it somewhere. <laughs> do, oh, it's Julie right here. He's not making a mess right now. Oh, <laughs> maybe tomorrow. That means you're having fun making a mess. No, she said like she that. wasn't going to make a mess today. She'll oh. make a mess tomorrow. Oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> okay, well, so we'll we're going to, that. going to the ugly scrap bin or the one, the, the so-sos that need more. And I want you to grab some cardboard. And then choose a shape. Choose a shape that's going to be even because we are going to be making a sculptural book. See that? You see what it's doing? So you want your shape to be symmetrical. It could be hands that open up. It could be shoes. That'd be fun. It could be a heart that's folded in half. Um, this is like a like an arch shape. The good thing about this is with each page, if you want to decorate it, um, they lay flat. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So each one will lay flat. Let's go to this one. Lays flat. So if you want to use it like an art journal, you can. And then you can put whatever mediums or whatever on it. And the more of these pages you get on here, the cooler it looks and the more sturdy it becomes, basically. Oh my gosh, Diane says she doesn't have a scrap bin, and I don't believe her. <laughs> That's because she she can make a, a pile of poop look like a, you know something royal. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna I mean, want to take know. your template, and what I did was I made sure that this shape that I'm gonna cut out right here. See this? I just decided on this shape right here. Um, and you fold your paper in half first and then cut it to make sure that it's symmetrical. That's kind of important here. Um, that's a PM Artist Studio stencil right there. And it was an alcohol ink pickup long, long ago. Um, and fold your paper in half, lay it down on cardboard and give it a draw, cut it out. You guys know how to make a template. But why I chose this size is I wanted to make sure I could get two on a paper that was folded in half. So these ones are actually a little big, but so that way I could cut two at a time or four at a time or whatever, and I can get the most out of my paper. You could also fold it one more time and make your shape this size. Uh-oh. Okay. That size would work as well because then you can get four in. But what I did here, sorry, that house fire really did something to my brain this morning. I, I breathed so much lithium flame, like, because it was in my hands, like sliding apart as I was trying to throw it out the door just did something to my brain. I've had a headache since. My my throat is sore. Probably not a good thing to breathe, is it? I, I, I don't think so. No. I don't think you should do that again. I, I don't think I should do that again. Oh, my husband felt so bad too. Okay, so what I did, 
just um, and then I have a recommendation and I'll show you how to put this together and it's really meditative guys this is probably something I really need right now too <laughs> something meditative because my nerves are all shot <laughs> okay so you're gonna want to lay it out flat I've got this folded in half so that means I'll be cutting two at a time so leave your where it's here um, where it's folded cut that part last because it'll hold help hold your papers together and then you don't have them slipping and getting weird uneven so so just sitting and cutting was very meditative and then the gluing part so cut a bunch up ahead of time and then get your get your glue on you know what I did with these, I just cut off that bit, threw it away, and then saved that in case I want to use them on the project. And then you take your papers, the side that you want to show, because this book becomes very substantial the way we glue it together, but we need the um, side you want, so choose the side you want and fold it so it's on the inside. Put your corners together. Remember, the fussier your shape gets, the more of a pain it might be to cut them all out. I found this shape was pretty easy, though. And I don't need it perfect, just a little bit symmetrical, but I did give each one a trim as I put them together. Just a tiny bit. Not a, I mean, do you guys see that? That's not, it's not perfect, but it's enough. It'll work. So then you take your book or your, you know, wherever you started. You're going to want to use regular glue because you need a little time to work with it. And what I have here, I have a lid. This. <laughs> I have a card. So they were talking about using your old sheets, like your ugly sheets. And uh, somehow it kind of looked like it, they were talking about old sheets, like your bed sheets. Like your bed sheets? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So you're gonna read want... that and I got to chuckle, started chuckling. It's funny. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that that would work. They're not stiff enough. It would just collapse. <laughs> you can use regular printer paper, just wedge it. You know, like what I did was I had a pile of the printer paper pieces I cut and a pile of cardstock or heavier things. And then a pile of like on another one, I used some of this paper, which was fine. Um, you just put it between the cardstock pieces. Because what happens is we're we're doubling our papers up here anyway. <laughs> They're talking about uh, speaking fluent, fluent, and Taiwanese. Oh, like I, like mistyping. Yes, I do that, but I use talk to text, so it's actually my phone that does it for me. <laughs> okay, so use some sort of glue that gives you a moment like your art glitter glue is going to grab too fast here and you can use a card to spread it or you know whatever and then you're going to want to line your paper up so your inside edge is not going to show i'm going to end up probably covering that with like some fabric or some washi now see that's not even so i still need a moment so I'll do this how many pages did you start with? Well, you just start with one. You know, you're gluing one at a time. So what it's doing is doubling up. See these two backs are together? Yes. But how many okay. did you have total pa flat pages? How many did you start with? I missed that. Before I cut? Yeah. How many How many pieces of paper do you need to, to, to get make this? Substantial? Yes. Um, yes. well, right now, um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But okay. it is actually, or 11, but it's, it's starting to be enough to make it happen. The, the bonus okay. here is you can stack this so high. You can use so many papers for this. Um, you just make sure that you are using glue that you can work with. Make sure your spine is very even, 
you know, and uh, they are mostly symmetrical. And what I did after I get a few on there, then I'll go through and do a bit of trimming. You could probably do it up ahead of time and not cut your paper and then sculpt it with scissors. That would be fun too, to do like a pyramid and have it when it opens up be a pyramid, um, like a pyramid proper with the square on the bottom. I, I think that would be a fun challenge actually, because if you did that and then you sculpted it as you went, you could really make any shape and your pages would all be a little bit different. What I have decided to do is I am doing mine in a heart shaped. Oh, good. With, instead of using a, a true point, I flattened it out. So I could get the, maybe get it to stand. You flattened it. Okay. Show us. Hold it up. Hi, Deb. Yes. That is exactly how you want to do it. Cause you want to fold it in half. You guys could right. use book pages for this. You can use um, uh, like junk mail would be super fun. Um <coughs> wallpaper anything that's going to be after it's like together uh and substantial or stiff enough to stand up with you know the help of each other so because you're gluing them together and these are all doubled up it really does have a lot more support um than you think it's going to um i just think there's lots of uh, paper opportunities and a lot of fun ways to do this okay folding my design on the inside. What I should be doing is cutting a bunch of these up ahead of time. Make sure to make sure to flatten it out nice too. If it's thicker paper, it helps when you're gluing it together. So I've got my glue. I actually started with tacky glue and it was too tacky. It was like not, I, I couldn't get things lined up. So, you know, just just cheap school glue is good. Good idea, Becky. Um, she she said that she could see using this particular process and putting like clear vinyl. Oh, the, like a page protector where you I was can stick a tag down into it. Yes, that is a good idea. Very I was good actually going to say you could recycle your um, packaging, your, your clear packaging would be really fun. You could make a whole clear book. Wouldn't that be amazing? Or even mica tile. But you can't fold the mica tile. So I that would have to be just like on the front and back, I guess. That wouldn't work. This would work though. Or vellum. That would be fun. So I do have some pages here that I did up ahead of time. Hi, Chris. We're glad you're here, even if you're lurking. Hey, Chris. Glad, really glad to have you. You're having lunch, huh? Okay, so should we, while I'm doing this, do our first prize? Oh, yeah. Prizes. Yay, prizes. <laughs> Everybody loves prizes. So what I'm going to do is a uh, two custom packages um, in the prizes. And then we're going to have a prize for our new person. And I have one more prize for our bubble girl with the ring. But every package or every prize will have a little bit of my artwork in it. So you'll get something special that I made um, or that you saw me make this year. So for the bubble girl, let's do that first. Should we do this first? It's got the, uh, the jump ring ring. Yes. Okay. So I want you to pick a number between... Oh, and for our international friends, I have something else extra special brewing, by the way. Um, so, Julie, you're not left out. Anybody that, you know, I, no one's left out. Um, we have it figured out. So, pick a number between 1 and 50, let's say. Shall we? I'm sorry I'm I'm so uh, today and not myself because of that fire. <laughs> I'm really glad to be alive today and and to still have an art room by the way. 
my cat is missing. She will not. She's gone into hiding. And uh, I'm really sad because I can't coax her out or find her. <laughs> so you could probably get your glue a little bit wet. Just, you know, so it spreads easier. But you could use the tip on the glue too. But I just want to spread it out. So you'll you'll end up noticing that your it'll start to lean your spine wheel or it'll lean this way, um, which is no big deal. You can get it straightened back out or it's okay if one or two pages is just slightly off. And remember, you can flatten it out. PM Artist Studio stencil with alcohol ink right there. Hi, Susan. Hey, Susan. Susan's popping in to say hello. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. We love you too. And we need to catch up, don't we? All right. Okay. This if I got their fun. numbers in. Oh, uneven. So, one in 50. Okay, everybody. Susan, Susan, do you want to put a number in? Yes, put a number in. Make. Okay, and I'm not looking at the numbers. I want you guys okay, to know that. Not. And I am going to write down a number. I didn't see any of your numbers. And this is because it is my favorite number. And All this right. Let's see what is we got. the number right here. So whoever is closest without going over. All right. Let's stop it. All right. What number do we have? 44. All right. That is the number. See. Ooh, 44 without going over. My favorite number. Uh, Deb sees at 43. Oh. Deb C. Deb C, you are the winner. Congratulations. And you will also get a few things to create with in your package. So you'll need to hook up with me after so I can get your address. So I'm going to write that down though. I got it. You got it? Okay. Yep. All right. So really the more you add, the stronger your book's going to get and it, and it gets really heavy because there's glue between the pages. So it actually adds some weight and the book feels really substantial. Um, it feels really special. Like, uh, you know, the kids books that are done on chipboard. Okay. And this is a regular piece of paper right here, but because I'm gluing it to cardstock, it's fine because this piece is cardstock here. So you just kind of, you know, go back and forth if you're gonna add thinner pages. So do you guys wanna hear about the contest? It's gonna be going on all month. I can't tell you what the special prize is, but it's pretty special. Well, no, I can kind of tell you what the special prize is, a little bit. Um, for the contest, to enter, you can go back and look at any Texture Junkies video and create something inspired by Texture Junkies. So if it inspired you to make something, or it could be exactly the same thing, it could be something that is similar, uh, it has a twist, you know, something Texture Junkies inspired, leave a comment on the video. Um, and then post on social media and I will give you an entry for each social media platform you post on. Um, and more than one person will win. I can tell you that. 
So I've also teamed up with my friend from uh, the UK, Cheryl Lawless. She has the torn page on Etsy. Um, she and I are creating a digital collection that is very texture junkies. And that means that um, there will be like goddesses and the kind of images that I like to use, plus some of my artwork. Um, and it should be a lot of fun. You see how uneven that one is? My goodness. Um, so just tag me in the post so I get to see what you made. And it really, it's a month long. So if you found inspiration, um, it would be just lovely to see how everybody interprets that. And you guys know that's why I'm here. I My goal, my whole point is to inspire others and to share in our artsy journey. So I would love to see how I've, if I've inspired you over the last you know, year and a half. See how fast this comes together? I mean, I started with like four pages or five pages and I've already got like a chunky, look at that. It's okay if it starts to lean, you can get it back on track with the next page. I mean, it's heavy. It folds out so nice. If you want to oh, work on that. it, I think it's going to be just fabulous to work on because it folds flat. That means I can, you know, add texture paste or a stencil or a spray or whatever, you know, just tuck something underneath it. But the fact that it folds out flat makes it so special. Okay. And then I got to find it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm at that point where I've got enough new pages on there. I want to give it some trimming. If you listen to Sherry, she'll have you saving all kinds of fun things. Oh, gosh. We, <laughs> we, we, we enjoy our free art supplies. <laughs> this is from my spray box, and I love it, even though that's pink. Um, so I'm going to use my template, if I can find it again, and see what this is. It's from the pharmacy. It's those big sheets of paper from the pharmacy. Better straighten that bit out first. I always have a stack of papers down in my spray box. Um, spray as in, you know, like the pigment sprays and stuff. And uh, then I like to use them after they get completely covered and saturated. When, I, when they start looking cool, I'll pull them out. Oh, barely. I'm going to make it work though. So I'll have some pages that are almost too small. Chris, that's, okay. that's sad that your mail gets stolen and you can't participate in happy mail. Oh, where, where you who, who? Chris. Oh, oh, that breaks my heart for you. Um, you know what? Um, one of the prizes is going to be digital and very special. So um, they can't get that. And then, of course, we'll have some, see how that is like that? And that's okay. I'm all right with that. Hi, is Angela. It? Hey, Angela. I'm so I love I love your things that you posted yesterday. Your collage and you posted, let's see, what was the other thing? The collage and something else. Hmm. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to be on Facebook for a few days. Color combo. It was the color combo and the collage. Yeah. She, she did a very good job on those. Oh, I, I look forward to seeing it. I usually get, get to Facebook on Saturday or Sunday mornings. And then this morning, uh, Saturdays. Um, but, you know, that fire kind of took the rest of my morning. So. I suppose I could do this. We went out and this morning in the 90 degree heat and uh, took the car to a senior community um, where, where most of the patients, there's 50 patients there and they're all memory care patients. And because both of our Aww. parents had dementia, we decided that, you know, we were going to rough the heat and go and sit. And 
it was so sweet. They brought them by to look at the cars on a, a little golf cart. That's and a it was great really, idea. Really, it was really sweet. Uh, you'd see their eyes light up, especially the men. When they'd ride by the 57, they put their little thumbs up. It was so sweet. <laughs> it was adorable. That's a really good idea because a lot of those cars are in their memories. They're exactly. stuff that they have good memories with. Okay, because I used that thin page there, um, and, you know, I can cover, I can... I can leave this like it is and just use it like a sculpture or I can decide to use this as an art journal. So, I mean, I can cover anything that I don't like and that's why you want to use your ugly papers. Um, sorry. I think that is a fabulous idea. They, they get bored and need stuff to do. Well, it, it, gave them, it did give them something to do and it was something outside of their norm. They had planned it. Right towards the middle of May, but it got rained out. So they had to get all the vendors and stuff that come. Um, they had to get them rescheduled. So it took a little bit to, to get all that reorganized. When my kids were little, um, we used to dress the kids up as elves and go over to the nursing home, which was close to our house and take stockings and puppies or, you know, we, we used to go do stuff besides Christmas also, but the kids hated me forever for making them dress up like elves and do that. Especially one year when they were starting to feel like, you know, that point in grade school where all of a sudden you care about what other th others think and stuff. Uh, they were in the newspaper <laughs> dressed as elves. <laughs> My friend Julie did it with me that year. And she actually, um, called the paper uh beforehand i didn't know she was planning on doing that and you should have seen my kids faces in the paper dressed as elves with their friends looking on you know <laughs> they weren't happy <laughs> so choose a shape that's going to be cool in the end um if you do this there are lots to explore. You could do this at Christmas and do a tree. Just, you know, cut out a tree on paper, fold it in half. You just make sure it's symmetrical. Um, that, that would be a really good idea if you're a Christmas creator. I'm, I'm not much, but any, any symmetrical shape would work. Um, Definitely a muscle car, Angela. Back in the day, it was, but she's like a lead sled now, a little heavy in the butt. <laughs> Is that what I am? A lead sled? <laughs> <laughs> a little heavy in the butt? <laughs> What's really funny is when you, you're driving the car down the road, there is no power steering. There are no power brakes on it. So, you know, because of its heavy weight, you really have to plan well in advance for a stop. And people are so stupid. They pull out in these little tiny cars and we just shake our heads. Like, you know, if, if he couldn't slow it down fast enough, we would melt oh. and it would be gone. It would yeah. be just totally demolished. Yeah. But so we, um, we had a, um, uh, I'm sorry, my brain, I'll tell you, uh, uh, 68 or 63 round Cheryl. And that's like the version of Chevy's, what is the one that Chevy has with the, like, truck? The, Cam the Camaro? No, I can't. Yeah, the Corvette? No, the one that's, like, got the two seats and it looks like a little mini truck. It's an ugly thing. Oh, oh, oh. An El Dorado. An, an El Camino. El Camino. Yeah, that's yeah. it. El Camino. Um, so we had the Ford version of that, but in the Thunderbird style. Um, and you don't see very many of them. It, it was amazing. We always had thumbs up everywhere we went. Everybody. It was like it was like an invitation for a conversation. That car. <laughs> Strangers in parking lots, you know, people on corners. It was funny. People would talk to us from the sidewalk, you know, <laughs> at the intersection or, you know, screaming into the car next to us or 
but it was it was heavy it took a lot of gas and it was fun yeah we get about yeah. we, we think we're getting about 12 miles to the gallon on this one and we have yeah. to drive we have right. to use a uh, premium gas in it too so oh i've seen pictures of yours it's amazing yeah yeah if you're friends with me on facebook you you should see pictures there and if you're not you know i might consider making you my friend <laughs> i would say i've had a lot of friendship requests lately and you know how they had that scam on facebook I, for a while I'm starting yeah. to wonder if they're not gearing up for a new kind. I've had oh, so many. Say. Um, I and now I go to their Facebook page. If I get a request, I make sure we have some mutual friends. Which enough, a stranger could come in and get enough people to friend them that suddenly they're a mutual friend. You know, right? Um, so I double check their page now to make sure it's not. Um, I mean, just last week I posted something for sale and immediately had a hacker come in, you know, yeah. trying to buy it. Oh, but you got to send me this code. So I know you're real. And, and I said, you know, I'm going to report you. And I know that this is a scam. I mean, she looked like a real person, but her pay, it was a clone page. So yeah, it's really sad. What has the world come to? Look at how beautiful that is. <laughs> Everything That's... but a Petro station. I, I, I know what you're saying. <laughs> What's that? Messy Pallet said that, um, that, that with their car, they they passed everything except for a Petro station. They always have to stop there. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing about having these older cars. You know, they, they're they so heavy that, you know, it takes a lot to, to keep them going. It does. You have to be a mechanic or, or be wealthy enough to afford a mechanic all the time. Well, my husband could do a lot of the work. But there were certain things that he could not do. And when it, it had sat in the basement while our, we raised our kids, basically, and we did not get it out until after they, they were grown. You have a and, garage basement? Um, yes. At one point, it had <laughs> four cars in it. But then wow. when we had the youngest child, which is going to be 26 on Tuesday, um, he had to give up his, his man cave his computer room. He had to give up his computer room for the second time. And so we built him a man cave downstairs and one of the cars went to storage and that car was in storage for so long that when it was brought home, the youngest child thought it was a new car. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you might not need something if you store it that long folks. I'm just saying. Oh gosh. Oh, I, I you can't, you can't say that to me. <laughs> well, Hey, Eddie, I am not a Batwoman. He does have a man cave. Um, there are three cars in the garage. And if we could buy, find the land to build the house that we want to grow old in, or older, I should say, we would um, at least have a four-car garage, um, maybe five. It's very possible it could be five. It could be three on the bottom and, and two on the top. Okay, so you guys want another drawing? It's time. I, is it time? All right. It's time. It might be time. What do you guys think? Everybody ready? I'll give them the cue. Okay, I'm going to write a number down ahead of time this time because last time I did not. And I'm going to do it off camera where you all can't see. Pick a number between one and let's go to 75, 75. That's right. All right. Go folks. Put it in and international. Put it in. I will cover the postage for Sharon to ship it to you. Oh, no, no, nobody so left behind today. Yeah. We definitely don't want anybody left behind and I love to give some prizes. Look at, so that is just paper from my desk. This could end up being so cool in the end. If you guys use, you know, use those papers that you're like, ah, I don't know what to do with this now. Um, this, this would be that, right? I, it's so fun. Look at here. 
Hey, Teresa. I didn't see you pop in. Hi, Teresa. Glad to have you. And Petra. Petra's here. Hey, Petra. I'm so glad you made it. It's very exciting to have everyone here. Thank you for celebrating with me, you guys. Okay, so look at this. I mean, it's really getting there. And I can add pages until it's fat, fat. And I'm telling you now, and it could, because it's a secret experience that you're not going to know about until the hop project. You guys all have an inside scoop now. <laughs> the inside scoop. Did you, you haven't seen um, what was posted this morning, right? No, I had a <laughs> house fire this morning. <laughs> yeah. that Paula King so would be cool posted a, um, a book, a wedge cheese shaped book. And it stands up and she had a lady like this, like no, hers was a wedge, uh huh. but out of the top of it, she had like a little puppet doll that had hinged um, arms. Oh, they were hinged cool. at the shoulders, the elbows. Wow. So the little head is what was up over. But I was just looking at you fanning that out and thinking, okay, that could become a skirt if you wanted to put it could like, that little pop up head up in there. Okay. So then you could use a skewer um, and put a paper doll on a skewer and put it because once it gets thicker, 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 then this becomes an actual, there's like a little tunnel right here that would fit a straw or a skewer. So that would be amazing. You guys, that would be amazing. So with that, um, month long competition, um, it can be anything that you were inspired to make or, you know, and, and that would be an amazing thing to make one of these into a, you know, you could probably give it more of a bell shape and have it come out more, you know, bell bottomy um, at the bottom. I mean, any, I just went with a simple shape because then it's not as fussy to cut out like live. So I, I just think that's so cool. Okay. Is everybody got their numbers in? Is everybody ready? And this one will be drawing for the very first packet, the custom packet made just for you. It will include some artwork. It will include dyes. It will include papers, um, fabrics. Uh, we won't do the shirt just yet. Uh, you know, inky tags, things that you can work with, things that, um, that you can create with, basically. And then some artwork or some things that I created. Are you guys ready? All you right, we're ready. Yes, okay. I've, I've given them the cue stuff. Okay, here's the number. Number 62. 62. And I'm just working along here. 62 is Diane Bell. Diane Bell. So we had Deb the first time, right? Deb C. And then Diane, we're going with these guys. Maybe E is next. I know we have uh, Eddie here. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I can't wait to make you a custom package. And we'll have to get together with the address. I think we should give away the shirt next. What do you think? I think that sounds like a plan. And I'm sorry, Raul and Eddie. I don't know if you'll wear the shirt. <laughs> of course. It's a lady shirt. I mean, it's, but it's like a three, it's a two X, but it's a big two X. Um, and it's got my stencil on it. You guys saw me make it. And it's an, it's a nice t-shirt. Mm. So for that one, how do you think we should do our prize for that? Should we do a number again or should I put names in a hat? I do have little slips of paper over here if we decide to do that. It's not really a hat. It's more of a bowl. So who would like to be entered in the shirt? Let's let's do it that way. Let me write those down. All right. Um, put, your, put your name in if you want in the chat. Put your name in the chat if you're interested in the shirt. 
Eddie says, no shame here. He'll wear it. Yay. I yeah, would be indeed. tickled pink to have a picture of you wearing my, uh, wearing my shirt there, Eddie. It's a nice V-neck too. Sarah, Sarah, <laughs> S-A-G, Sarah is S-A-R-A. Yes, Sarah. Rhonda. Okay. Miss so right Palette, uh, me, <laughs> so. Teresa. Hold on. Where are we at? Diane, Teresa, Sarah. Did you say Rhonda? Rhonda. Hold on, my glue is drying. Oh, I guess I need to brush it. Oh, I love this. I love this project. I just love the way it feels and how heavy it gets. It's just, it's magnificent. If I do say so myself, I, it's a, it's a fun way to bind a book and to get, you know, nice heavy pages that can take a lot of um, medium. That's really fun. Sometimes you got to check the one behind it to make sure you didn't, if you got glue on the edge to make sure it didn't go over. Okay. Who else do we need? Okay. Uh, let's see. We stopped at Sarah, correct? Sarah, Diane, Teresa, Rhonda. All right. Missy Palette. That's Diane. Diane. Okay. Teresa. Mm-hmm. Martha. Martha. <laughs> Agme. <laughs> Oh, Eddie. We, we almost forgot Eddie. Yeah, we definitely need Eddie. Okay. Diane G. That's Diane G. Okay. And Eddie said he'll, he'll, it could be, be a drag queen. Okay. And um, Diane Bell. Let's see. Hold on. How about Evie or Trish? I don't see Evie or Trish listed. Oh, wait, here, Evie, um, you listed Eddie. So w they're trying to stack it against us for Eddie. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Um, Angela, yes, you. we could do that to Canada. Angela. Mm -hmm. We're doing Eddie's, this the old-fashioned way, aren't we? No. Um, what, what's, let's see. All right. I think that that looks like it's it. So Anne, Sarah, Eddie, Diane, Angela, Rhonda, Diane G, Teresa, Martha, Diane B. All right. If you didn't hear your name called, let me know. Do we have three Dianes here today? We have Diane Bell. We have Diane. Da, 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 da. Let me let me make sure. Here. We may have done it twice. There's Diane G. And then Diane Bell. Okay. Does that make sense? Oh, and Evie, right? We Not Evie. Evie. Evie said no. Okay. All right. So let's put these over here. Did I, Did we get everybody? Is that right? Uh, Belinda. We need to put Belinda in. Belinda. Okay. Right. I felt like there was more. And Petra. Petra. And of course, you'll get more than just the shirt. Um I can't send a package without, you know, I'll send an ATC or, you know, some bubble papers or some inky tags or something with it. Okay. It'll, it will come with some love. Yes. Always. I love sending happy mail though. Um, and prizes are so fun. I do have some new stamps in there in that bucket. Also, um, I have, it was I have stuff also from when I used to sell things on Happy Paper People in my old group. Um, 
so I, I have new stamps for that reason. Uh, some washi tape, things like that. Wait a minute. Diane Bell said you could take her name out since she's already won. I, oh, it doesn't matter to me. Either well, way. it's already in the bucket. So if we do draw you and you want to pass it on to somebody, you can. How's yeah, that? you 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 can pick who to pass it to. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah. If you're Lady Luck today, so be it. <laughs> okay, so I got them all in here. I'm going to give them a shake. I don't know why I'm using a recycle bin. Shake, 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 did, did you Diane are really lucky know? lady she is lucky today so guess what diane if you want to keep the shirt you can or you can pass it on to somebody else or she could also choose whether she wants to take the shirt or the packet oh yeah we could do that too yeah there are yeah, options here yeah you have options so you get to decide <laughs> Rhonda says she needs to go to Vegas. <laughs> yeah, but what goes to Vegas? Isn't it is funny that that was the one? Uh, I mean, she is lucky today. Go buy a lottery ticket, girl. <laughs> oh, she wants to give it to Eddie. Yay, Eddie. <laughs> is that what I'm hearing? And the winner is. is Oh, I'm real pleased so cool. for Eddie. Yay. <laughs> All right, well, let's write that down so that we make sure that Eddie gets that shirt. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm instead of sifting through those, I'm going to just put this right on the shirt, just like that. Oh, how cool. So Eddie, you'll have to take a picture, okay? And I hope it'll fit you. <laughs> Only if he posts it. Oh, he'll post it. He'll wear it. It's Eddie. Well, Diane, I can tuck some extra goodies in your package because you passed on the shirt. How's that sound? <laughs> Eddie, you do know I love a drag queen, right? Been on two drag cruises with RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> no pick. You will return it. <laughs> That's awesome, Eddie. <laughs> it could be a traveling shirt. We could send it from artist to artist. There we go. It's like this, the, the, sister the uh, sisterhood of traveling, traveling pants. pants. Yeah, yeah. I love that story. <laughs> Probably need to put this in water. Um, so this was what I had planned for today. I hope you all are thinking about your Texture Junkies inspired project. And let's go over that one more time. So the uh, contest rules will be something Texture Junkies inspired. You must comment on the video that inspired you, you know, the project um, or the idea that I gave in the video uh, and then post it to social media after you make it. You post a picture. If you post a link to the video in the or in the post, um, you will get an extra entry. If you post it on on different social media sites, you will get an extra entry. Um, so, say you put it on Instagram, or you put it on uh, Facebook, or Put it on your say you have like diane i don't know if you have a community post whatever whatever social media you have i i don't have words today because of that lithium i'm sorry <laughs> so sorry they just, just make want... sure that when you when you do your project make sure you hashtag it just take... if, if you would take the extra time to link the video that you watched um, especially yes. if you do a new video, if you'll link that, that helps us grow this channel so that, you know, we can, in, we can do this again soon. Let's do a hashtag on it. Shall we do that? So let's do hashtag. Include seven, 700 
TJ 700? How about Texture Junkie 700? Or yes. T, 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 yeah, okay. Let's do that. I can't fit it. I'm okay. really not okay. I, I did the Texture Junkies 700 is what I put in the stream or in the YouTube. That texture should, Junkies That way they can. Um, inspire, so, that's a good one too, Teresa. Uh, what texture, was that? TJ Inspired. I almost said TJ Inspiration. <laughs> That's funny. That was what I started to write down. You must be reading my mind. Okay. So I'm going to make sure. So when you get this to a stage where you've got a nice, flat, thick area, um, or when it gets done, I mean, that's when I went in and uh, did a little extra gluing um, on this edge. And I'm probably going to add a strip of thin fabric or you could use um, uh, hem tape or, you know, whatever you like to use that's thin enough um, and get some more glue on there just to make sure it's all matched up and that it's going to hold. I think a dress is a fabulous idea. This is also the shape of a bell or a birdcage. A birdcage would be really cool, wouldn't it? I could, I could actually put some birds on wires and hang, you know, like stick them off of it here and there. That would be really fun. Make like a bookmark on a straw that goes in the middle. That would be super fun. So I'm just checking to see if my pages aren't stuck together because glue goes over the edge which happened right there. No big deal. So you guys can really get through that scrap bin this way. Yeah, every once in a while you want to, you know, check them. Just make sure you didn't go over. And I'm probably going to iron this when I'm done if I don't get enough pages on it to get some of those curls out. I'll just take a clothing iron to it. I think it's really fun. Um, this came about because there's another, there's a journal that I would like to do in the shape of a circus tent. And I think this would be a good way to do that. Um, I want to do like old circus stuff on it. A Frida Kahlo book. Yeah, that would be very cool. Yeah, they are kind of like the folded pages of a book. Um, magazine paper would be really good for this, too. Yeah, they, they kind of are like, you know, when you fold those. But this way you're actually using your art papers and different different paper textures. So you can use it as an art journal, too. I mean, if you want and you don't have scraps, Diane, um, she said she didn't have scraps. <laughs> you can actually just use like watercolor paper or cardstock, whatever you want. Use your scrapbook paper, guys. If you have some of that that you don't use, this would be a great use. Um, maybe even a mix Put them in between for the stability. I, th I just think it's so fun. I think a lot of moms made, um, and because Reader's Digest was the ideal size for making those um, angel type things. Or the Christmas all tree. was, you know, folding those pages in, which you could do quickly. And you could take a paperback book or um, a Reader's Digest and you could spray it with the gold paint and then you know, make some wings, put a, a foam ball on it and some fake hair and you had it made. So if you split your book down the middle, when you go to 
when you go to uh, create in it, if you're going to do it like an art journal, you just split it down the middle like that. And suddenly you have a nice flat surface to work on. I just, I think it's, I think it's wonderful. I'm sure it's been done before and there's probably a name for it. I don't know what it would be. I actually was testing something out and I did this with punched circles. I just used my largest circle punch and And I was testing out some different ways to put together something in a mini form. <laughs> so those are definitely going to stick together. You can make ornaments. I think you could make a cool ornament um, for a oh, gift. Yeah. You took the circles, your largest circle punch, mm -hmm. and punch them, and then you and, glue them in the same oh, method. Yeah, that would be cool. You would you would make beautiful ornaments, and they would be unique and one of a kind for sure. So I'm going to actually put that in water because I have some goopy glue on that and it's kind of sticking together. I decided that it needed to dry upright for a minute. So I'm actually starting another section here and then I'll glue the two together. So that's a piece of cardstock. This is a piece of regular you know, back and forth. Yeah, Abby, I believe that you're right. I think a hexagon would, would work as well. Um, anything symmetrical. Well, it doesn't even have to be symmetrical. It's just when it's folded up, it's if all the pages are different, it's not going to be even. Um, but I would love to do a pyramid and just do the triangle first and then cut it after i feel like that would work i feel like you know to get it square on the bottom and the pyramid on top it yeah. would be about sculpting it and that was why i chose to call it a a, a book sculpture i don't know mariah you have this in is this um type of book uh, binding, I guess you'd call it in the art of the fold. Cause you have that book. I, I do not. Um, is there a name for it? That's what I want to know. I mean, I'd be interested to know. I just was trying it and thought it would work. Sweet dreams, Petra. Oh, Petra, thank you so much. Sounds hey, like she's getting the house settled. Keep an night. eye out because there's going to be, you know, the, that big prize coming up. And I have teamed up with an, a, a designer that does digital kits so everybody can be involved. And I will see you soon. Thank you, Petra. Thanks for joining us. Can you hear my weather alarm going off? I can. <laughs> I'm sure Zoe will get it. As long as it's not a fire detect uh, alarm. We had a lot no, of we, we were we're expecting <laughs> storms are supposed to be coming in between five and eight. So wait, what kind, kind of storms? It. Um, thunderstorms. Oh, okay. So maybe tornadoes. Yeah. Is that what they're saying? No, probably not. Not likely. Okay. Um. We, we just get rain, sometimes hail. Oh, um, I want some of that. We don't get that much tornadoes. I really do want some of that. Um, they got hail about the size of a quarter um, just about five minutes from our house. Oh, wow. Two weeks ago. It was just amazing. We didn't get any. It comes across the mountains, and then it'll split over a big river, and that's it. That's all we get. So it's okay if you don't match up every time. What happens when you put the next page on, if it matches up, it's fine. Be, you know, say this is here. Um, so if one is smaller, it doesn't really matter. You just kind of want them the same shape. But ish is okay in this instance. Um, I Like these are not all exact. These are not all exact. Just because they're getting doubled up, it's an ish, you know, sort of thing. It's not, you don't have to be perfect, I guess. 
Well, we don't want quarter size hail here. We just want no. Some just some no. Um, Diane rain. was saying she wished they would get some rain to kind of clear out some of the smoke. Um, Diane, um, we had um, we had some of that smoke here for several days until we did get rain and it kind of cleared it out. Uh, Becky, I am in North Carolina. I'm in about central North Carolina. I'm about an hour from the mountains and about uh, two hours and 30 minutes from the coast. So who thinks that they might make one of these? And we'll be giving away that big prize um, shortly also. If you hang on. I'm just so excited about this. That is a PM Artist Studio stencil right there. The uh, special special sauce. It is 50-50. Is that correct? On the, uh, for the alcohol ink? Yes. It, yeah, it is. Uh, until it's uh, thin enough to spray in a bottle, basically. Um, but it actually is enough to thicken up your alcohol to keep your ink in place a little longer. Yeah, Evie said the first time she watched, um, you were teaching how to do inks, and that was what kind of held in her mind and helped her to Aww. start doing better, better and different. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm that just really tickles me. That and Teresa really Church is going to make one. Oh, that's cool. Have you decided on a shape yet? Or are you thinking about that? Yeah, the, uh, co the well, it's not really a contest, but the contest, we're going to have to call it because I can't think of another word right now, um, could be this project. It could be bubbles. It could be anything that I've made at all or just inspired by. So why won't you go down? Okay, there we go. Um, having this, doing this really helps to straighten it out, to line your papers up. You could make yourself a jig. Um, you could use some cardboard and make yourself something that, you know, you push against to get it lined up perfectly. Like I'll do that right now. You can hang these, too, from the ceiling. Diane um, says she's going to try to make make one from uh, book pages. Good idea. I think uh, this is just really fun. Diane, it's okay if you're concerned about climate control, climate change. We, we, we're all we aware. all are, yeah. So, Diane, are we talking about Diane in Australia right now? Um, Diane Bell in Canada. Um, oh, they, yeah. They're just experiencing a lot of changes. She said they've been going on for a while, but yes, you know, we're seeing, I mean, we've seen such a weather change from what we used to have when I was a kid. We used to get a lot of snow oh, and we don't very get very much now. Um, we, yeah. We're more likely to get ice, but, you know, you have to be conscientious about your choices. They do affect other people. Well, you know, I'm all about that recycling for a reason. And that, you know, has to do with loving our planet and wanting to um, use as much as possible. And I am a, a woman of much. So <laughs> that, that is a good way to describe me. A woman of much. <laughs> I have too much crap around me. I have too much stuff. I eat too many details, but I also like to recycle a lot. So, whoops. <laughs> Debsy, that's so funny. It works out, Mr. Eddie. We, we, we feel bad for you too. Do you know about Mr. Ed, like Mr. Ed the horse? Are you, you mean me? Of course no, I do. She's oh. talking to, to Eddie about. Um, he had mentioned the West Coast, you know, how how bad it is as far as their water, you know, water situation. Yeah. We have water here, but 
in Washington, it rains constantly. So, I mean, we get, we get plenty of it. We're pretty lucky. However, a couple years ago, um, Hi, Pinka. Got... Hey, Pinka. Glad you made it. Um, you're not too late for some more prizes. So hold on. There's going to be some more giveaways. Um, but a couple of years ago, one of our uh, dams that they had actually covered a town to create that dam. We have several of them in our area. Um, and, you know, they were small towns on the plains where they decided to put these dams for um, power. Uh, they One of them dried up because there was not enough rain that year. And it was really awful uh, to see it empty. However, we went to see it because we had heard that there was a train trestle showing um, in the dry bed. Well, and it was more of a mud bed. Uh, but we went to see and found all kinds of broken pottery, like really cool old pottery, but it was little Neat. pieces or I would have, you know, um, and, and house structures like uh, the base for several buildings, um, railroad, uh, like an, uh, an overpass. Uh, it was crazy to think that all that was just underwater. Push, push, push. Well, it's, it's not not as big of a surprise because, you know, water is, is constantly shifting. So, yeah, you know, things that are are OK at one point may not be at another and then they get abandoned. So yeah. until things dry up, sometimes you miss those foundations or, you know, those clues that there was actually someone living in those areas. Well, we knew that they had flooded two towns for that. I mean, they moved the people, but they didn't flood them while they were in their beds or anything. But Yeah, um, well, sometimes yeah. people weren't quite so fortunate because nature took took over. Right. Um, Andy, Trish, you wanted to know how far I am from you. Um, you're in Durham. I am about an hour away from you. I am closer to Winston. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. I did not know that you guys were that close together. Yes. We need to plan a meetup. Like we, and do. I need to, we will do that. We're gonna do that at some at some point. Susan, we need to plan our dates still. We both had stuff happen and uh, had to reschedule. So same with Margolo. Um, we've been planning to get together, but she has a busy, busy schedule. But she's only like a half an hour away. Susan is an hour and a half away. Um, well, maybe more like two hours, right? Uh, Becky says she has friends in Durham. Yeah, Bill's father grew up in Durham and uh, went to Duke. So he was uh, all around there up until he moved to Winston-Salem. All old railroad tracks wash up on the beach, Teresa? Where was that at? Huh. You know, all my walking sticks are from that lake, and a lot of them were uh, trees they flooded or uh, wood from houses or whatever that were in the area. Um, and I find them around the, you know, like, and they get water washed, kind of like rocks get smooth, but it's wood. So they're like walking sticks. They're round. They're smoothed from the water um, and from rolling around in there. It's very cool. Teresa, where do you live? Carolina beaches. Hmm. So I'm going to trim this now. You see the difference there? That one's a whole lot bigger. It would be fun to make one of these up ahead of time and just sculpt it. Like to make one square and sculpt. Okay, time to check my glue. I'm almost done here with this. We'll do another giveaway. I only have a couple pages left to cut. This is so fun. 
Okay. Do you see how quickly that came together too? I mean, you it could really see cut, cut the pages up ahead of time, and then you you could have a stack there with you. You know, just get yourself a stack. Um, you could sit in front of the TV and cut those pages, um, the shape that you need, and then glue together all at once. It and it used a lot of papers. It's really fun. Now it really looks like a skirt, doesn't it? It does. It reminds me of, of the um, Sugar Plum Fairy when they have the big lady that comes out at our... Oh, yeah. Booth, that, that, and the, the hide dolls under. come outside of her, you know, her That's skirt, skirt. Kind of opens up and lets the dancers come out. So I've got enough here that I can explain if you put, when you make your cover, um, do a, you know, a fun cover, but put another piece, just uh, the half, let's say. Let me cut this. So when you put that on there, you can glue a piece of string on here put it on and then to tie it closed you use the string or to tie it open you use that string so it'll be underneath that layer like wedged between just like when you do a junk journal um, but then they can be tied together to help create your shape either way and if you put another thing right here Mm, say I'm going to use a strip of, of thin fabric right here, okay? Um, and I put another string under here before I put the fabric on. Then I can hang it from that string. I could even hang something from the bottom. And it would look like it's part of the book when it's not hung up. But if you hang it from the bottom, then, you know, say I have a bell shape. I, it could literally be a bell. Or it could be little feet. Hanging from the bottom. <laughs> can you picture it? <laughs> I can see that. So a paper doll with little feet hanging. <laughs> that would be funny. Or you could put the feet to where they were part of your opening and close closure. So if you had it oh, open, yeah. you know, they'd be kind of sprawled out, stuck out. Like well, I feel like if you put a string down the middle, then you're going to have the feet in the middle or you're going to have, you know, the hanger in the middle. Um, it's just so much fun. And then check out, I mean, I took ugly pages, pages that needed more. And now I have this journal that I can work in. And I'm pretty excited to work in this, by the way. I This is one of my favorite shapes. This shape will be featured in the digital kit that uh, my friend Cheryl over at the Torn Page on Etsy is going to create a, t a special Texture Junkies kit just for us. And it will feature as a prize um, for the people that enter the online contest. Your Texture Junkies inspired, did I do that one inside out? I must have done. I wonder what was on there. I have no idea. <laughs> Your Texture Junkies inspired project. So, so where did that purple go right there? Oh, it's on the other half. Okay. Isn't that fun? It's an upside down butterfly. That's a PM Artist Studio. Um, having it flat means I can put a stencil on it. It's just fun. And now it is super heavy, very thick. And, you know, I can keep adding or see how thick that yes, is. Yes, Julie Parker, you could make them for seasons. That would be fabulous. The the bees? Yes. Yeah, you could. To have them for different seasons so you could display a different one. You could. Or well, you could I, incorporate that, you know, the four seasons all in that same book. You could just, you know, keep them up all the time and hang them over your art desk and feel inspired by them. I mean, how, when do you get to hang up your art journal? That's pretty special. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'm thinking that, that you could cut cool. like a small notch in that and make it like a gnome. 
make it into a gnome. A, a gnome? Like a little gnome with the big hat, the nose. Oh, yeah. If you sculpt it after, absolutely. Yes. You just take your blade, decide on your shape, and cut it afterwards. But what's going to happen is his nose is going to be all the way around when you open it. So, I mean, if you think about how it's going to look when it's opened, um, say... Uh, you do hands. If you do a hand, you're going to have a thumb that sticks out all the way around. Um, so you've got to think about what that shape, that asymmetrical shape, ooh, on my hands, uh, is going to create when it's doubled, basically. Um, that's why a half of a heart works. This, this half of an arch works. Um, Anything that's like, you know, a circle, a square, a triangle. Um, it's just fun. It does. It is a little mind bending thinking about what shape it's going to create afterwards, too. But you can just use your fun scissors. The thing is, if you do something real fussy on the edges, you're going to have to match those up when you go to glue it. So you're better off to do anything sort of fussy and carvy like that after you get it together. After. So, like, now I could take my fancy scissors and maybe do the edges, although they would not match up with each other anymore. Hi, Judah. Hey. Hey, Judah. How are you? Judah. I'm so glad you made it. Is Are we ready for another prize, you guys? Yes, we're ready. Okay. So, so far, we've given away... This with the jump ring ring, and we're going to include some other goodies in there. So that is the um, smallest prize, really. Uh, we gave away the shirt. We gave away a packet. And I think it's time for one more of those big packets. And that would be some artwork. Maybe some of my painted canvas. Some upholstery, some, you know, things like that, depending on what you use. I've got all these tags here, bubble tags. I've got, let's see. I've got dies. Oh, I was going to give away a moon in this one. How's that? Do you like that? I like that. I actually made that. And uh, I made two of them. So that one can go in this package. How's that? And then I've got these really cool stamps. I've got a whole bunch of these, actually. I was selling them. Um, and it's like a, it's like a, an award. Um, and it's really cool to put flowers in. <laughs> you can, like, make flowers for it or whatever. And this says, wish you were here, which is kind of fun. So those could be in one. And then a ring. The moon. So this is kind of the first prize, isn't it? If I add all that. We've got some upholstery. I've got some really cool stuff here. Might have to do one more prize after that, too, because there's a whole lot of stuff here. So I need to put this in a bag because I showed this as a together package. So let me throw this in the envelope. All right, so I think we're going to pick a number again. All right. Let's go um, between a number between one and 75, please. Okay, and I'm going to write one down. So this is, uh, this is not all that's going to be in here, but I did show these items together. So that means that this will be together. And I will write a name on it in a minute. Sorry, words are hard for me today. You're doing I good. Taking all kinds of, I took Tylenol, I took ibuprofen. I but I've had a headache from that breathing the lithium fire. Well, since, and two, it, it could be part of the, yeah. just the nervousness or the anxiety of the situation. It could, it could be, I guess, but very easily. 
Well, lith lithium smells different than regular just smoke. So, and I was holding it as I was trying to get the fire out. And I mean, it was disintegrating in my hands. And it's like a chemical smell, like super chemically, like ugh, it was so gross. The whole house smells like it. Um, but I had my, it was in my face and I really feel like I breathed a whole lot of that. And I had a sore throat immediately. My head hurt immediately. It's probably not real healthy for you. Anybody have any experience with that? No, I can't. I can't say that I do. Oh. I have experience. Hey, Dar. How are you? Glad you made it. Okay. Oh, I was writing down a number. And I'm not looking at the numbers. Miriam, um, there was a fire at her house this morning. Oh, yeah. From it, a lithium a, battery. We had a proper fire. We had a lithium battery blow up. And uh, uh, it was charging on the desk and near the hutch. And the desk was on fire. The hutch was on fire. The house was full of smoke. All the alarms went off and then we thought we had it out and it went back up into larger flames um, 20 minutes later after we got it out. Um, so we technically had two fires. <laughs> it was All terrible. Right. Spent Does the everybody morning have their numbers in? Outside, yeah. It was scary. It was just very scary. We can all agree that we do not want to have fire in our house. No, no, it was it was scary. It wasn't like a little kitchen fire. It was like a fire, you know. And then it was really early in the morning, too. I mean, we were all asleep. All right. Okay. Is everybody's numbers in? All right, we're going to hit stop. And get that number revealed for us. Are you ready? So I wrote down. We're ready. Number four. Number four. Number four. Yeah. So um, closest without going over. Is there anyone? Right now, it was looking like it's already dar. Well, yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, Is that right? I think so. Uh, she's got eight. Evie had number nine, so Evie was right there too. Oh, so nobody was under then, huh? No, not that I see. That's awesome. Well, Dora, I'll get with you and find out what other kind of things that you like to use because I have a whole bucket of stuff next to me, and I will include other things in your package. And then I think we're going to give away a bubble envelope. So that means I will put uh, just a just a five by seven envelope right here. I've got this. And I would like to send one of these out. And it's going to have some, you know, some of the bubble things that I made recently. Um, and then a little something I made. Uh, so let's do that one more time. A last time. And I will add... A number to this without looking and that's a go everyone so for the smaller prize but I promise it'll be fun all right we're going with one through 75 that's Put your right number in. sorry I've gone on about fire I'm just I'm still so shaken up about it just scary. Got the number in my hand. Did you see I um, I'm trying to learn how to use Canva and I mean I've, I've used it a little bit because PM Artist Studio when I do the hop of uh, they, they like to use Canva and I'm still not good at it. Really. I'm still a little bit confused, but I was playing with it yesterday. Did you see the post I made with a little poster? 
and the sculpture. You did good. <laughs> <laughs> I was so proud of myself. But that I'm was getting better at it. A book sculpture right here. <laughs> so this will be. All right. Paper. We're going to call stop on it. Inky pieces. I'm going to get that one. I'm going to get some of these. I'm going to get an inky tag or two. Maybe a purple one. Maybe a little one. And maybe the two cards. That's a nice inky package right there. And then I'll include one other fun thing that I won't share yet, depending on the recipient. Tell me when you're ready for this. We're ready. Okay. Go ahead. Number 21. All right. Oh, thank you, Mariah. <laughs> I'm still learning how to use that. I haven't figured out how to put words on things that don't already have words. I'm just guess, I, you'll, you'll never guess who. Guess who? Just guess. Deb? A lottery ticket? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. I kid you not. Oh, my goodness. Deb, you are the... I have to say, you are the ultimate winner today. Ultimate winner. Diane Bell. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, I said Deb. I meant to say Diane. That is yes, amazing. Diane Bell. Winner. She, winner. She she winner. Do you uh, gamble at all? I'm curious. <laughs> Anne thinks she may be psychic. Oh, is that it? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe no, she's using Lady her Lock. other senses to, uh, to like, gr yeah, grab a hold of the number that I just wrote down. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is just... Congratulations. That is crazy. <laughs> that was. Okay, but I'm not done giving away prizes because, remember, every one of you has a chance to get in on the big drawing um, that will have several prizes. Um, and do you have any questions about how that works? And don't forget your hashtag. Yeah. And add the video that, that you were inspired by as a link, if you would. That's, please. that's right. So anybody have, uh, any questions about that at all? I'd like to say congratulations to all the winners and thank you everybody for coming and putting up with me going on about, you know, my morning. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. I hope you all get to make one of these because it really does feel, I mean, I can't even explain. It's just heavy because of the glue between every, every folded piece. So it's just really nice. Feels like a proper book. That's what it feels like. A proper book. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. How are you? Welcome. Welcome to you. So who do we have here that's new? I'd like to know. Let's see. We have Artie Dar. Artie Dar, Dar you've been once before. Raul. Raul was here for a Raul while. Raul is new. Raul was new. Penny. Not sure if you're still new. around or lurking now. Raise your hand if this is your first time here. That's what I want to see. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you. Yeah, Trish, I, I did. I considered um, rescheduling. I really did. Because I I have a layer of, of um, powder. powder on everything. Right now. See, I told you my, my brain's not working. I can't come up with the word powder. Really? <laughs> I swear I haven't been drinking. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dar is in and out, but briefly. But is it your? It's, it's. You've been here once before, though, right? I just want you to raise your hand if this is your first time here, everyone. 
Sonia, I think it's your first time here. Penny. Um, Penny, I don't, I don't remember seeing Penny. Raul, I'd like to, maybe I'll go back and write down, because um, I'll have to go through, because some people have, have popped out. Um, but I, I do want to do a little something special for all of our new people here today. Um, and, and, you know, do an extra little drawing off when we're not streaming. Um, so I'll go back and look at the, all the people that attended and put names in a hat and do just a little something special, um, uh, and put together a prize for our newcomers. I'm so usually, I'm, this ahead. is the first time I'm getting to see our, our live stream. Uh, Sonia, if you would uh, reach out to Sharon and um, send her your address, please. Yes, thank you for thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. I really do. Um, and if you won something today, you'll want to send me your address, um, so I don't have to uh, uh, hunt you down. <laughs> Let me give you something. <laughs> I feel like yeah. If, if if she can't find you, it comes to me. Yes, yeah. there we go. Lisa, gets easy it. enough. That's it. <laughs> and I would would like to thank everybody for being here today. I know we went a little longer than usual, and I really am thankful for each and every one of you. I'm sorry this didn't turn out the way I completely expected, and I didn't get the glitter on my desk or my nails done for our party. Uh, I appreciate your patience and um, with, you know, word, words, 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 and more words. I just love you all. I just want to say that. <laughs> Thank you everybody for coming and uh, thumbs up. If you haven't had a chance, uh, send your friends. I'm not usually as scattered. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a great evening. And Goodbye, everybody. Bye.